This hurricane season, there could be fewer meteorologists tracking storms as federal cuts hit NOAA, the agency responsible for hurricane modeling, among other jobs. News Channel 8's Stacey De Silva joins us now live in the Tampa newsroom with some reaction to all of this. Yeah, Jen, reportedly hundreds of people are on the chopping block at NOAA as part of the Trump administration's effort to drastically downsize the federal government. That includes a meteorologist here in Florida who was fired yesterday while he was helping to develop the new version of hurricane models. When Hurricane Helene made landfall, Andy Hazelton was in a Hurricane Hunter plane. Then when Hurricane Milton hit, it was his first day on the job as an official federal employee at NOAA. It's really a dream to kind of work up to that. Um, and, you know, I think when people hear probationary, they think, you know, some of that's brand new, but this is really people that have, a lot of this have a lot of experience within NOAA for years and years. Hazelton worked at NOAA's Environmental Modeling Center in Miami until Thursday when he says he and 11 others were abruptly fired. Really unfortunate way of, of finding out. Our supervisor didn't even know we had an emergency meeting and kind of went over everything, but it was it was tough. According to reporting from The Hill, NOAA has begun firings that could impact between 560 and 1,800 workers at the agency which falls under the Department of Commerce. It's going to be hard to pick up the slack and it. I'm, unfortunately, it may degrade or make, you know, make the forecast less accurate um, over time. And that's something we really don't want to see. And we hope that, that can be avoided. Lakeland is home to NOAA's Aircraft Operations Center and its fleet of Hurricane Hunter planes that provide live data during hurricanes. A city of Lakeland official says they have no knowledge of job cuts locally. Polk County Commissioner Bill Braswell says he does not believe the government would jeopardize safety. Anything that's manned 24 hours a day, yeah, you got to be careful when you're cutting that back. A NOAA spokesperson says the agency does not discuss internal personnel and management matters. We have reached out to both Senators Scott and Moody's offices, as well as many members of Congress on this issue and have not heard back. Reporting live in the Tampa newsroom, Stacey DeSilva, 8 on your side. Thank you, Stacey.